blank sheet of paper. Okay, now for Laura Walkman's. Hi, I'm Kaylee. Hi. Hi, what is your name? Tammy. Nice to meet you, Tammy. I'm the nurse practitioner today. Can I get your date of birth? 123058. Okay. And what brings you in today? A well check. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your yearly well check? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have any um, concerns or complaints at all? No, not really. Okay. Oh, perfect. How's this weather outside today? Yeah, a little hot. -ish. A little hot, yes. Hey Tammy, so did you bring your med list in? Today? I did. Perfect, awesome. Thank you. So we'll kind of go over that. I see that they did your height and your weight. Um, and that looks good. It looks like you're down 60 pounds. Mm -hmm, sure. Awesome. So I see that you're on the semi-glutide. Yeah. Okay, and that's 25 units. Mm -hmm. And um, why did your other provider put you on that? Because my blood sugar was has been high for about eight to ten years, I suppose. Okay. 115, 125. Okay. Yeah. And I wanted to lose the weight. Okay. And then, did you go up past the 25 units? Yes, oh. I, I did um, 50 units okay. for about six months. Okay. Um, any family history of like diabetes or obesity at all? My dad had diabetes. Okay. Did your dad have any other conditions at all? Um, high blood pressure. Okay. Uh, what else did he have? Uh, I don't think he had cholesterol. My mom had high cholesterol. Okay. Any like cancer risk in your family, mom, dad? No, no. Okay. Um, any like siblings that have? Um, health issues or anything like that? My brother has diabetes. Okay. Um, my oldest brother has, um, it's like Parkinson's, but it's not. What is it when you, um, tremors. Tremors, okay. Mm hmm Okay. That's it, yeah. Um, otherwise, I, no, not really. Okay, great. Do you have any drug or food allergies, Tammy? No. None? Okay. Well, I shouldn't say that. I had a reaction to a tetanus shot. Oh. So I don't get that. I don't do that anymore. Okay. And what happens when you got that tetanus shot? I was like probably 80% paralyzed. Oh I my gosh. To, I know. I had to crawl to the bathroom. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm so sorry that happened. When did that happen? <laughs> Um, I don't know. I was probably 26, maybe 28. Okay. And yeah, you haven't had a tetanus shot for a while, so should, we should give you one. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah, it was like, I bet it was like 24 hours. Kent almost had to carry me. I'm so sorry. Right? Okay. <laughs> oh, shoot. That's okay. Okay, so obviously we won't give you a tetanus shot. And I no. see that, do you do the flu shot? Since no. No? Okay. Have you had the COVID vaccine? One. Are you interested in getting another one? No, thank you. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> um, being that you're 65 and older, you are due for like a pneumonia shot called the Prevnar 13. Is that something that you would be interested in? No, okay. thank you. Do you think I should have it? I Being based on your risk, yes, being that you're 65 and older, mm -hmm. but we'll talk about other history and your other comorbidities and we can develop a plan okay. at that time as well. Um, do you live with anyone? No. Okay. And then how many kiddos? How many kids do you have? Two. Okay. And then are you married, widowed? Widowed. Okay. I'm sorry. Mm hmm Okay. And how are you managing that? Um, I am on taking Wellbutrin. Okay. And you feel like that's helping your symptoms? Yes. Okay. Well, I see that the nurse did the PQH9 for you, and you're a 2, and your GAD score, your anxiety score, is a, z a 0, so mm -hmm. very well managed mm -hmm. on that. Um, looks like Wellbutrin, you're at 300 milligrams. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're just going to probably keep you that, keep you there. Are you seeing, like, psychology or counseling at all? No. No? Okay. Um, do you take any anxiety medications? No, that's why I do the lipo B. Okay. Because it's... It was prescribed to me because of um, more the depression. I don't. I don't suffer anxiety. I'm fine with that. Okay. But, yeah. 
So you're on the liposat plus one milligram. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you're on fish oil. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any problems with like reflux with when you take the fish oil at all? No. No, okay. Because I do the apple cider vinegar. <laughs> okay, so you take apple cider vinegar gummies. <laughs> yeah. And how often do you take those? Sometimes twice a day, but for sure, um, actually it is twice a day basically. I take it in the morning and then I take it before I go to bed. Okay. Awesome. And then you're on that semi-glutide. Um, and then you're on the K2 and D3, um, 125 micrograms. Um, and then the K2 is the 90 with that. And that's great. Um, women, especially over 65, your vitamin D levels start to drop. Mm -hmm. And so just taking that extra vitamin D can definitely help. It can also help mood as oh. well with yes. that. Okay. Um, and then you're on flush free niacin. Um, tell me a little bit about that medication that you're on for. Uh, you know, I honestly, I don't know why I'm on it. I, I remember when I talked with her about it. Okay. And she recommended, I was like, yeah, absolutely. But I'm tell me what it is exactly. So it can help, like, for, it's more on the, like, naturopath side of, like, a supplement. And it can help with skin, your nervous system, and just keeping, like, your blood flowing. So, like, mm. with, like, cholesterol. Okay. Um, so there's some evidence that shows that can cause, like, increased cardiovascular risk if you take too much of the niacin. Mm -hmm. So if you're taking multiple do doses. But it sounds like you've been on it for a while with no problems. Right, and I, I think that was the one that says don't take more than one a day, and so I haven't. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so, I, you know, several times I miss a day, so okay. I don't know if that helps or hurts, but yeah. Okay. Um, and then you're on the isotonics for yes. your blood sugar. Right, blood sugar, and I think it was cholesterol also. Okay. That's good for, so. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, let's talk about what, what um, do you, have you had any past surgeries? Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. So I had my gallbladder removed. They don't have to be in order, right? No. Okay. Gallbladder, hysterectomy. Okay. And when I had the hysterectomy, I had my bladder tied up. Oh. Or stapled up to okay. my pubic bone. Um, I had a knee surgery, just a scope. Okay. Arthroscopic. Let's see. Two babies. No. That uh, counts for every history. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, you know, I always forget. And then somebody, when I was little, I had tonsillitis. Tonsils taken out. Okay, so you had your tonsils. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, mine. Any, like, skin biopsies? Lots. Lots. <laughs> okay. You spend a lot of time in the sun. Well, yes, yes. But I burned so bad when I was younger. Okay. I had such fair skin. And then when I started going through menopause, men the mel melanin mm -hmm. kicked in. Sorry. No, you're good. I'll be right back. Okay. You just answer your phone. I think turn that off. Oh, it's my daughter. Oh. I'm just going to tell her real quick, okay? Okay, that's totally fine. Hi. Um, Kaylee is here doing something for her school. So I'll call you back later, okay? Kaylee and, and Jamie, neighbors. Yeah, yeah, so they came out here so I didn't have to go home. Oh, yeah, <laughs> she, we, she, we're recording. <laughs> so I better not say secrets. <laughs> okay, so I'll call you back later. Go. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, so lots of skin biopsies because you got burnt. I think, yeah, because as a child, you know, the stuff that comes out now is more stuff that you had when you were little more yeah. so. I mean, now I wear 50 sunscreen. Great. I wear the um, UV shirts, long sleeve shirts. But as you can see, I, I mean, I just, I don't live in the sun and I'm tan. It just happens. Yeah. Right, yep. Do you go see a dermatologist then? Yes, okay. twice a year. Twice a year. Mm -hmm. okay. And when was the last time you were to the dermatologist? Um, let's see, that would have been probably January. Okay. Because I, my, I have an appointment on, in October. Okay. And then do you see a dentist? Yes, twice a year. Twice. Okay. Do you have any vision problems, Tammy? No, just readers. Okay. Have you had your eyes checked recently? Mm-mm. Okay. Have you ever been to an eye doctor? Mm-hmm. Okay. When was the last time? Mm -hmm. Long time. Long time? Okay. Let's see. I would say six, seven years because okay. I had a little infection in it, so I went in, but otherwise I don't go. Okay. <laughs> any problems with like blurriness? Vision problems? No. Just 
Just, just readers. Just your, just your readers. Yeah. Okay. Right. How about any hearing problems? No, I don't think I do really. But you know, sometimes with TVs now, there's a little lip, like it's muted. You know, whatever. But no. No. Okay. I don't, I don't think I do. Okay. Any problems with smell or taste? No. Okay. How's your appetite with that semaglutide? Um, it's acceptable. You know. Okay. <laughs> I I like it. Yeah. No, it's Jamie, right? Yeah, I just ignore it. Okay. Um, yeah, there's days where it, you know, it does really curb it, and then there's times where it's like, okay, I can eat anything. Okay. But for the most part, I, it's been well. Good. Being that you've been on the semi-glutide, I think we're going to start transitioning you solely off of it. Okay. It's not a medication where we can just be like, boom, let's just take you off mm -hmm. of it. We run the risk of like nausea, vomiting, like more adverse effects. Okay. And this is, would be like a slow titration process. Okay. Sometimes it can take three to six months, six to 12 months. It really just depends on the person. Okay. And so you can always call like, we'll keep them at 25 and then mm -hmm. go down to 20 mm -hmm. and then 10 and then five okay. over the course of a couple of weeks. And then you just call the office if you have side effects and then okay. we might keep you at that dose mm -hmm. as we kind of get you off of it. Do okay. you do any other, ex do you do any exercise at all? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm so active that, I mean, I know I don't have my, you know, the cardio isn't okay. probably where it should be, but I'm not a sitter. So I, I play volleyball once a week. Okay. Awesome. And I golf at least three times a week. Fantastic. So, I mean, I, I'm very active, but I, I don't go to the gym anymore. I just, kind of got away from it. I, I broke my arm. Oh, okay. That's yeah, good. it goes back there. Okay. <laughs> and I, so then I wasn't in the gym for a while. Okay. Uh, let's see, when was that? That must have been maybe eight years ago. Okay. Seven, eight years ago. Did you do any like physical therapy for that? No, no, I didn't have to. It healed really well. Okay. Just with a Great. Thing. Yeah. So normal guidelines, exercise 150 minutes. You probably get that with golfing, playing mm -hmm. volleyball. Mm -hmm. um, do you have grandkids? Yes. So I'm sure they keep yeah, you right. busy yeah. um, too. So Yeah, I swim a lot. You do? Also, That's yeah. fantastic. Mm -hmm. That's great for your joints. Being that you're over 65, you're more at risk for osteoporosis. Mm -hmm. um, and so doing the weight-bearing exercises and doing lifting is really going to keep those bones strong okay. and really prevent osteoporosis. Okay. Um, you are due for a bone density scan being mm -hmm. that you're 65. Okay. So I'll probably send you for that and we'll just get that checked out. And then if it's coming back, like you are at risk or developing osteoporosis, um, we'll start some treatment okay. for that. Um, and, but we can cross that bridge when we get there. Okay. Um, the other thing too, being that you're over 65, when was that time you had a colonoscopy? Um, I'm going to say it was probably, I did the Cologuard. Okay. Um, I, I don't know. I don't think it's been two years. Okay. Maybe a maybe a year and a half. Okay. Yeah. And any family history of like colon cancer at all? Yes, my grandmother died. Grandmother? Of it. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. So I think what we're, we're gonna do we'll do the colon guard mm -hmm. again for you mm -hmm. just to see if there's anything, and then probably send you just for a colonoscopy because it's recommended for your age, mm -hmm. and that's once every ten years. Is that something you're interested in, or mm. what are you? I like the colon guard. I don't like to be put under. Okay. I'm not a medication, as you can see, yeah. I'm supplements. Yeah, absolutely. And so I'd rather stick with the Cologuard okay. unless something comes back, then absolutely. I'll okay, do. let's just stick with the Cologuard for now. Okay. And then if things change or you're having, you know, blood in your stools, your bowel yeah. movements change, and you have like lower abdominal pain, mm -hmm. and things are just not normal for mm -hmm. you, just contact me and then that might be something we'll have to explore, okay. given your family history mm -hmm. with your um, grandmother. Okay. Um, any problems with like balance or walking no okay mm -mm. um any like joint weakness mm -mm. okay um any do you have history of asthma no and no allergies just outside allergies occasionally okay. like you... right now with all the stinking fire oh, smoke <laughs> it's terrible so i just do nasocort you, okay and how mm. often do you do nasocort uh, as needed as needed okay mm -hmm. if i wake up and my eyes burn i'll I do two snorts in each nose once a day. Once a day, okay. Mm -hmm. Anything more than that, it can sometimes call, cause like rebound, mm -hmm. nasal congestion, so mm -hmm. let's 
perfect. And okay. And for just asking you, do you take yeah. like platter tenders or check or anything? I don't. It makes me so sleepy, even the okay. non-drowsy. Yeah. I and just don't like, by three o'clock, I can hardly stay awake. Okay. And that's okay. Not yeah. Not to forget, um, those medications are what we call H2 histamine blockers. Right, so they're right. like the, supposed to be the non-drowsy, but with genetics and stuff, I mean, mm -hmm. it may cause that drowsiness too. Okay. Um, any trouble with your heart, like palpitations, mm -hmm. anything mm -hmm. like that, shortness of breath? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you're okay with it, I'm just gonna kind of check you out from head to toe. Okay. Your blood pressure is fantastic, is 110 over 79, so mm -hmm. no concerns there. You're not losing your height by any means, so I'm not super... Yeah, no, not really. I mean, from when I was a sixth grader, you know, whatever. <laughs> is that when you stopped growing? <laughs> well, yeah, because I menstruated when I was 10. Okay. I was really young. Okay. And so, yeah, I think by sixth grade, I didn't get any taller. Okay. And actually, no, I, I think I really do feel like I'm a couple inches shorter, but. Yeah, and based normal. on based on mm -hmm. your records between your last visit with your last provider and this one, you're the same height and your weight is 60 pounds less. Mm -hmm. And so that's fantastic and your blood pressure. So great job yeah. doing Thanks. all the things. I think you need to just keep, we'll just keep doing it. We'll just check you over. Um, yeah. And if there's like pain or anything like that, um, just let me know. Okay. For the purposes of this exam, we are not going to do a breast exam or a pelvic exam just for the purposes of the exam. And typically I would have her in a gown and I wouldn't listen over her clothes, but because of this exam, I'm going to listen to her over her clothes, um, for this exam. So we'll just kind of start from head to toe. Um, any ear pain at all? No. Okay. Are you going to go check your ears? Mm -hmm. Okay. So pull the ear down and back. Got some earwax in there. Yeah, I kind of I do that candling once in a while. Okay. And do you feel like that kind of helps? I love you? it. And then um, if I get to where that irritates me a little bit, I'll use ear drops. Okay. And that works like within a half an hour. You use like Zebrox? I don't. I got it at Terry's Health Food, so I'm not sure what it is. More like a natural. This one's really good. Oh. Okay. I can see. Both yeah, this of one. Of light. Okay. This one tends to bother me more than that one does okay. ever. So. Is it bothering you right now? No. Okay. And then are you going to take your hat off? Just oh, to look at No, you're okay. Yeah, just no, to just check, like, check your... See? No, I know. That's okay. Okay, yep. Yeah, there's a surgery. Yep, I was just going to say. So tell me a little <laughs> bit about the scar on the top of well, your Well, squamous. Okay. However you say that. Squamous cell? Yep. Carcinoma? Yep. Okay. So they... When was that? Um... I don't know. Three years ago. Probably five. No. I think it was about three. I think three. Yeah. Because I took out your stitches. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Um, yeah, that looks good. Yeah, it, it healed out of the hair. Any pain with that? Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -mm. Well, and with Scar, being how wide this is, I don't think your hair is going to grow no. back in that spot. But... Yeah. And then you have, like, yeah. I think it's just hair dye. More oh, no, I hair. spray it. You spray it? I use black spray paint on it when I... When I dry it, because it, my, yeah. you know, look at it, it's right in your crown, so it's, it separates. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so that's what you're seeing. Okay, I was like, I don't know if that's <laughs> like a hair really spray. dark mole. No, it's okay. hairspray. Sounds good. And okay. you don't have any spots, you just have these spots back here that they Yeah, burned of off. Burned or, off. Okay. Yeah, scraped. Yeah, any. All of these, yeah. Here. Looking at. So I do the Effudex. Okay. And um, the cream. Yep. And that's why they're so spotted with these red spots. Yeah. It just reacted big time, and they didn't. It's um, like it almost scarred them. Oh you shoot! Know, I'm very mad. What the heck? Okay. So, so it's almost like a drug allergy. I in, know, yeah. In a sense, being that you have so many scars. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is is this like a bruise? Yeah, and I bang. Now I'm old. I bang and I turn purple. Oh yep. yeah. And at, that's just normal part of aging. Mm -hmm. Well, these senile lentigen spots is what they're called. Yeah. Two. I like your tattoo. What mm. is your tattoo? Can't. Oh. Be just me. Oh, okay. I love that. Okay. That's how he signed everything. Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna feel your pulse while we're sure. looking at your skin. If that's okay. Mm-hmm. Hands are nice and warm. I oh, like your. I like your nails. Thanks. We need to be done. It got thrown out. <laughs> that's okay. Any, like, wrist pain or anything? Mm -mm. No? Okay. Are you okay if I listen to you? Mm -hmm. Okay. I get a little bit of hand pain once in a while, but I've been a hairdresser for 46 years. Okay. So of course, I'm going to. Yeah. You know, just once in a while, if I go to grab something, it's like, oh. Do you take anything like aspirin or... I, I'll do ibuprofen occasionally. Okay. Yeah. 
but not often. Not often. Okay. No, that's okay. And then, are you okay if I just look in yeah. at your eyes and your nose too? Mm-hmm. Okay. Just look. Just look at me. I'm just gonna look for your pupils. They're round, reactive to light. And then you can expand. Yeah. That's okay. Okay. And then I'm gonna look up your nose. Okay. If that works. Cool. So there's no lesions that, and they're round and pink. Mm -hmm. Okay. No nasal surgeries or polyps that you know of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the okay. more you talk, because I'm like, I know there was more than that. Yeah, that's um, okay. Um, Dr. Hetland Rotor Rooter, I called it. Okay. Not for, and let's see, sinus infection. Okay. Yeah, I was like, why? I used to get sinus infections like four times a year. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, okay. so crappy. Anyway, it took about a year, and I have not had another one, and that's probably 10 years ago. Okay. Mm-hmm. And again, no, like, smell, smell like changes no. or anything like that. Okay, are you okay if I kind of feel yep. your sinuses, too? Any pain or anything here? Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to feel your temporal pulses while we're up here, too. And those feel normal too. I'm not okay. concerned. I'm gonna look in your mouth. Say ah. Ah. Okay. Yep. No tonsils. Tongue bed line. Able to stick out the tongue. So your nerves are all intact. Can you okay. smile? Can you stick your tongue out at me? Okay. Perfect. That looks good. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Stick I'm, it out a different way than most people, but okay. That's fine. There's no judgment. That's yeah. Good. Right. I'm just gonna listen to you, Tammy. If that's okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. Just breathe normal. I'm just gonna listen. Okay. Typically, I would like lift up the breast and listen for the apex underneath too. Your heart, know. your heart yeah. sounds great. S1, okay. S2, no murmurs, no history of murmurs. Oh. Oh, okay, perfect. I'm just gonna go ahead and listen to your lung sounds. Okay. You take a deep breath in and let it out. Any shortness of breath? Mm -mm. Good. Good. Same thing. Good. One more time. Okay. Any dizziness or shortness of breath? Okay, I'm gonna listen in your back too, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Sounds sound great. Good. Good. Yeah. Lung sounds are clear in both fields. That sounds great. Okay, so what I'm gonna have you do, I'm just gonna listen to your belly for belly sounds. If that's okay. You can just leave your shirt yeah like that. Normally if you would be on an exam table and we'll just like yeah. tip you back and feel your belly. Any belly pain at all? Mm -hmm. Okay. How about passing gas? Yeah, I'm kind of gassy, but I drink, uh, it's not Metamucil, it's uh, that one in the green, I can show you, it's more powdery. Okay. Fiber. Fiber? Okay. Yeah, I drink that. And then I, I like to do the protein drinks okay. for like breakfast, whatever, and I think that's what makes me gassy. Okay. Any like history of like lactose intolerance? Not really. Not really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sometimes, the, depending on what's in those protein drinks, if there's like a whey or a casein in oh, there, sure. they, your body just can't digest oh. it. And as you get older, there's evidence that shows that you get become a little bit more lactose oh. intolerant, which gassiness can be a sign. Oh. No diarrhea or anything? No, not really. Okay. Not really. So, sometimes? So, yeah, sometimes. I mean, okay. for the most part, no. I have, I'm, and then, of course, the semaglutide, I think, has a tendency to... 
a little constipation. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then that's why I drink the protein or eat more lettuce or and then I get gassy. Okay. Yeah. And that so makes... I think it's more from that. Okay. Sounds good. And so then, no. Any problems with peeing? No. Okay. Any problems with like you kind of like dribble or have incontinence? No, my bladder thing is still working after. Okay. 25 years. That's he did a really good job. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, great. <laughs> No, I really, I mean, if I wait, because I'm a hairdresser, I wait too long, and then, you know, your brain knows the toilet's right there, and then I might, you know, but I wear those padded panties oh. for the most part at work Okay. for that reason, but it's not out of control or anything. Okay. Sounds good. Have you ever seen, like, physical therapy for, like, pelvic floor or anything like that? No, I haven't. No? Okay. All right, I'm just going to listen. Feel your okay. belly, and then I'm going to listen to you, and then feel your belly. Does okay. that sound okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure. All sounds are clear. I'm just going to push on your belly. Tell me if there's like any tenderness. So light palpation and then I would do deep palpation. Mm -hmm. They had your gallbladder out too. Mm -hmm. So and some of that too can be from your gallbladder. If you're sure. having like greasy foods and things mm -hmm. like that, you can mm -hmm. have what we call like fatty stools mm -hmm. um, from gallbladder okay. like attacks, those types of things. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to test like your muscle strength. Okay. And so I'm just going to have you just squeeze my hands. Good. Those are equal. Okay. And then I'm going to have you push up on your foot. So you're going to push, I'm going to push down. So on my calf? Yep, on your calf. Yep. Good. Other side. Okay, same thing. Equal muscle, muscle strength in both of those. Okay. The next we're going to do is, we something we do is called the get up and go test. It tells us. Mm -hmm how fast that you can get up okay. and then walk to a certain spot and come back. Okay. That just tells me to see if you're stable on your feet, your balance, neurologically, those types of things. Does that make sense? Sure. Have you ever done one of those? No. Okay, so I'm gonna have you turn your chair this way, perfect. And then I'm gonna have you like walk to the end table and then walk back. So you're gonna sit in your chair and we're gonna say go. You'll get up, walk, and then tr quickly turn around and come back to your seat and sit down. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. You want me to walk fast or just walk, walk like normal, normal or whatever? Walk okay. your normal, like you get up out of a chair, you're gonna go check the lake, and then you're gonna come back to your chair. Okay. Okay, ready, set, go. Perfect. Less than six seconds. No dizziness. No. Um, your gait was equal. There was no like mm -hmm. moving or anything like that. No. Great. Um, and I see you have handrails in your house, so that's great. You have mm -hmm. adequate lighting. Those are all things we look at as you get older when our, sure. if our eyesight is going and that types of things, but you don't have any of that, so mm -hmm. that's great. Um, the next that we're going to do is we're going to just, lay, yep, leave your hands there. So I'm going to have you put your arms straight out, and I'm going to have you push up. Okay, good. Any shoulder pain? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to push down. Good. So you said you have some wrist pain. Mm -hmm. So any like diagnosis with like carpal tunnel? No. Um, uh, you just... I have a cyst in here. Okay. Years, I don't know. That was mm -hmm. a long time ago. Yeah. And then um, I can't remember what she told me, but for a long time I wore the wristbands in bed. Yep. So that my hands wouldn't hurt. Okay. Yeah. But no, I don't have any trouble with okay. it anymore. So we're going to test like your radialis, your ulnar, just to look to see if you like carpal tunnel syndrome. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to do, you're going to look like you're praying, but it's the opposite of praying. So you're going to take your hands and you're just going to fold them okay. like this. Mm. Okay. Yep. And then you're going to hold any pain. No. Okay. Great. Perfect. And then the next test we're going to do is this thumb test. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to have you bend it and then we're going to turn it inward. You want me to bend it now? Yeah, yeah bend it and then I'm going to turn Push it in. Any pain? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hold this side. So this again tests like that radio, that radial artery and mm -hmm. the ulnar nerve, and the, and no pain. No. Anything like that? Okay. okay. Any shoulder pain or anything mm -hmm. like that? Okay. Perfect. Next time we stand up, we're gonna do the rhombic test. So you're just gonna stand here and you're just close your eyes, and you're gonna stand here. I'm gonna <laughs> sway a little I'm bit. Get my feet a little bit better for that. Okay. Okay. okay go ahead and close your eyes. And. 
Okay, for this test, you would stand for 20 or 30 seconds, but there's no swaying. Do you feel dizzy or anything? No, I feel a little bit of swaying, but no, okay. nothing. Okay, since you're standing here, I'm gonna do, check your peripheral vision fields too. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna look over here. Just follow my little pen. I'm using our test cranial nerves. Three, four, and six. Ocular field of gaze is what this is called. And again, we're just kind of checking to see if there's any mm -hmm. problems. But that looks good too. In the cell and eye chart, you're 20, 20, 20, 30 with that. So yeah. no, no concerns there mm -hmm. at all. Okay, you can go ahead and sit back down. <coughs> so everything looks good. I will refill your semi-glutide and your Wellbutrin, and then you can keep up on your supplements. Um, if you have like any changes, in like your health just give us a contact i know you're not you don't want a whole lot of meds and mm -hmm. i totally respect that and i think mm -hmm. that's great whatever you're, you're what you're doing is working okay so continue with that weight bearing exercise a good healthy diet mm -hmm. we'll work on getting you off the semi-glutide we'll send you for that density screen i also am going to send you for some labs just given your age so we're going to test your cholesterol level okay. um we'll test your a1c level just as your insulin level of that mm -hmm. um and then i will also send you for an insulin level itself that's a little bit different than the a1c okay it just looks at the whole picture mm -hmm. um see where you're at with that okay. um that'll be, those will be labs that are fasting okay and then we'll also send like a chem panel for your electrolytes mm -hmm. to make sure you don't have any electrolyte imbalances um and then we'll also send for liver function tests given your age as well mm -hmm. for those Okay, do you have any questions or concerns at all? I also send for a vitamin B level for you and a vitamin D level. Okay. Given your age being that you're on those supplements as well mm -hmm. for you. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other questions mm -hmm. or concerns at all? Okay. I think I'm good. Okay, sounds good. It was nice to meet you, Tammy. <laughs> you too. Thank you. Have a good day. <laughs>